we just heard was an orchestra of pulsars. Imagine you're out there hiking in the wilderness and you lose your GPS signal. Now imagine having the same experience, but in space, in the vast darkness of the cosmic ocean. And then you detect a reassuring signal from a cosmic lighthouse, letting you know exactly where you are. These remarkable objects are called pulsars. Pulsars were once massive stars that ran out of fuel and their core collapsed to form a compact, dense object, now the size of Berkeley. After the collapse, they spin 100 times a second, emitting twin beams of light, which gets detected as a pulse every time it sweeps past Earth. In fact, this is how Jocelyn Bell first discovered them in 1967. The rhythmic nature of the signal, which we just heard, was so bizarre that they were initially nicknamed LGM-1, Little Green Men 1, briefly entertaining the thought that ET was trying to communicate with us. But even after 50 years of their discovery, we still don't understand why pulsars emit light. While we can't build an actual pulsar because just a teaspoon weighs as much as Mount Everest, we can build a computer model. This is the focus of my research. Our objective is to capture both the spinning star and its light beam. However, this is challenging because the electron interactions driving the light beam are a million times smaller than the pulsar. Modeling these two length scales simultaneously in a single simulation frame is like taking a picture of Berkeley from the sky and capturing the lemons growing in my garden. Existing models artificially increase electron interactions, leading to inaccurate energies compared to an actual pulsar. This is where my new approach comes in. My team and I are bridging this gap using an adaptive approach on supercomputers. Instead of using high resolution everywhere, we optimize and use fine resolution only in the regions where electron interactions are dominant. That is only in the light beam. The highlight of our approach is that as the pulsar spins, the fine resolution pixels spin along, continuously capturing the rotating light beam. With this method, we will probe the influence of the strong rotating magnetic field of the pulsar on the fundamental relation between electron interactions and the nature of light emission. We will better understand how pulsars emit light. And maybe someday, soon, these symphonies of the stars, heartbeats of our universe, will navigate us in our cosmic journeys. Thank you.